The Mesa is a very unstable environment. How do you sleep at night? What do you think is oh, <laughs> what do you think is I in don't, there? I I don't sleep at night. I hardly get any sleep. I uh, I'm I'm hell bent on getting the answers. Like I've said, I want the answers more than anyone. Have, have there been any discussions on what that excavation site might look like? Would it be like an archaeological dig, some type of a metal substance within the mesa? Right. You've seen UAPs fly into above the mesa, hover above the mesa, fly into the mesa, fly out of the mesa. Are you going to excavate that site? We're working on that. Uh, the mesa is a very unstable environment. The rocks are very unstable. Those boulders at the base that you see mm -hmm. came from the top. Oh, good. Um, every time that we dig, that we conduct any type of excavation or exploratory activity and disturb the earth, it's, it, it's very dangerous. We see material come down. Um, it's, it's a, it's a dangerous environment. We also don't want to damage the very technology or artifact or whatever may be buried in the mesa that is unnatural that may be connected to the strange activity um, the 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 metallic substance that was recovered through the biopsy through the the drilling exercises that was analyzed by the university of utah and shown to be you know not naturally occurring and according to dr taylor and others to be matching the composition of of you know, the same material that would cover the space, the space shuttle that would shield, that would shield a, a craft uh, at entry, you know, from a, extreme heat. You know, that type of material that has been extracted from the Mesa is real. It's somehow, it accompanies something else. I mean, I believe that it's, it's just the tip of the iceberg of what may lie beneath, and we don't want to damage the very thing that may hold the key to getting the answers. Uh, so we're, we're having to conduct a very careful biopsy and probing effort in the Mesa due to both the, the health and safety concerns of the instability of the environment coming down on us literally in the middle of it, and also the fact that we don't want to damage the the very object or the material that may lie within it's like imagine if there's a stargate to to use a science a science fiction example if there is a if there's a million year old stargate that has some type of advanced technology that is involved with the uap activity and the other strangeness that seems to be triggered with high frequency in the area and that is Somehow it's buried in that mesa. Or there's a base. We don't want to. We don't want to damage. We don't want to blow up. The very technology of the very device that that may hold the key to to understanding the nature of what we're dealing with. Yeah, I I completely understand. I mean, it seems it seems indestructible. When I saw that drill go in yeah. there, and it just. I mean, just got a little bit of substance and it stopped the drill. Yeah. I mean, what, how do you sleep at night? What do you think is, oh, <laughs> what do you think is I in don't, there? I, I don't sleep at night. I hardly get any sleep. I, uh, I'm, I'm hell bent on getting the answers. Like I've said, I want the answers more than anyone. I'm putting my money and my reputation where my mouth is. And I want to come in aggressively and, and, and get to the bottom of it. But I don't want to, to be so aggressive that we end up damaging mm -hmm. the very thing that we're trying to unearth, what? or we end up, or or end up with people more people hurt unnecessarily. What are the offline conversations Jeez. about w between you and your team on what's under there? Uh, what does Eric Bard think? Is you know, Eric reserves judgment. You'll notice Eric Eric is not quick to make any claims. Eric is very reserved. Methodical uh, members of the team have 
have theorized that there there's a spacecraft that there must be a, a spacecraft in the in the mesa that there may be a dome like that there may actually be some type of of object of of uh, mysterious um, unnatural origin that is that is buried there 400 feet into the uh, the mesa I mean there are those who believe that there may be something um, a, it could be a meteorite that landed there who knows millions of years ago uh, that uh, that that contains you know interesting composition that I, I there are so many different theories relative to what lies in the mesa have, have there been any discussions on what that excavation site might look like would it be like an archaeological dig yeah ultimately I mean you have to treat it as an archaeological dig but you first have to probe and and have to excavate sufficient to to make access without damaging the environment so what what you're going to see unfold over the course of the next few months the next year, I think, is a is an unprecedented effort to to more aggressively address the mesa and what lies beneath. Uh, as the 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 old Masonic symbol etched into the cliff uh, of the mesa denotes "as above, so below." We may find the answers to what we're seeing above in the sky, right there under our noses below the mesa, but we want to be very careful and responsible in how we how we explore that area. I can't wait to see that. So it's a great mystery. And we're not trying to tease. I'm not we're not trying to tease. We're not trying to hold back. And we're certainly uh, not meaning to to delay. I mean time is of the essence. Uh, I I'm I'm the type of person that lives in a world where execution is everything, where you know, accomplishing you know, the, the end goal is, is, is something that drives you know, every discussion. And I, I, I want to move as, swift, as swiftly as we can. We do have weather issues out there. I mean, it is a, it's a challenging environment during the winter when we have moisture it is almost impossible to go back and forth across that ranch. This last winter, we had record snow, oh. record low temperatures, record moisture. The, the mosquitoes are outrageous right now. I mean, the, the guys are attacked all day, every day by mosqui hordes of mosquitoes because of the, the moisture and um, just the environment this last year. And so we're, we're working quickly during really the, the dry months to be able to to conduct the investigation as aggressively as possible, notwithstanding the fact that it, this is a year-round effort. I mean, it doesn't cease when when the snow flies. It just it just takes on a, a little different cadence. Okay. 